Hi everyone, welcome to our channel again. In this video, I'm going to say thank you for all your support all this day. In order to ensure our viewers has more informative and quality contents, and I'm here going to list our future contents that will be discussed in our HCS channel. First of all, I'll try to narrate my videos in Basel Malaysia, English and Mandarin. Unless you have certain topics that to be used in Basel Malaysia or Mandarin, just let me know in the comment section. If not, I will usually use English. And another one, I try to use two weeks to upload one video. And I never expect it takes more time than usual to make one video. And I try to shorten my time uploading new video. But for the meantime, I guess we we'll just had to wait for a while. And here are the some topics I'm gonna discuss in the future. Number one. Same as usual, I'm gonna discuss more about compound and mixture fertilizers. There are so many brands of fertilizer need to be discussed here. And besides that, we have organic or organic plus chemical hybrid fertilizers. There are so many things that we need to understand for the organic fertilizer because they play an important role that work alongside with compound chemical fertilizers. And I think I should take the opportunity to introduce more organic fertilizer to our viewers so that you can understand them and fully capitalize the uses of the organic fertilizers on your plants and I'll discuss more in the future. And another topic that's quite important is the water-soluble fertilizers. The most prime example is the Crystallon series and also Yara Terra consists of calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, sulfate of potash and magnesium sulfate. Those are the main components of making AB fertilizers. And also I'm going to in touch about the micronutrient EDTAs. Those are a part of the component that works well with the PN, CN, SOP, MG, and so on. Those are the topics for the AB fertilizer users. And last but not least, I'm also going to discuss the popular brand of fertilizer such as Baymeyer, Agobridge, and other brands that sell in Malaysian market. Hopefully, stay tuned for more future contents. Number 2. And here's another topic I'm going to discuss in future, a foliar fertilizers. Foliar fertilizers play an important role besides compound fertilizers because they are the integral part that maximizing your plant's fruit production. Not just about improving your plant's fruit production and quality, but also helps to prolong your harvest time. And there are so many brands circling around the Malaysian market such as Vuxal, Calcium Borrow Magnesium from Bermeyer, Seaweed Extract Kelp Premium from Bemeya and also other brands such as the Agro and so on. Number 3 I also spend some time talking about fungicide or Rajin Kulat. Every farmer more or less when planting their crops will encounter such problems. When the surrounding weather is getting too humid or the plants are too weak, they are susceptible to bacteria. And this is why we need some good fungicide to cope with this problem. Usually farmer will encounter such problems such as leaf blight which is quite normal if not treated properly another one is root rot usually happens if the roots are being drenched for a long time and another one is entranoxa usually happens on the chili or tomato farmers and that's why i'm going to make videos on introducing fungicide that help the farmers to cope with the problems and there are two types of fungicide that are available in the market one is a contact base usually happens to be in powder form and another one is a systemic base that happens to be in liquid state liquid state fungicide usually sold in a higher price because it has a contact and systemic base that helps the plant to prevent and to cure diseases that infected on the plants and make sure you stay tuned to find out more of this video in future and number four i also plan to talk about herbicide Herbicide is also part of the topic that farmers need to know before they start planting. Herbicide helps to clear bushes with little effort that saves a lot of time. But be warned that if not carefully used, it might also hurt your plant. And there are several categories of herbicide. One is the systemic based herbicide that widely used amongst the farmer. And not just about systemic based herbicide, we also have another one called contact herbicide in which the chemical will kill the weeds in direct contact. It's been widely used among farmers, but it may pose dangerous to their health. 
And another one is a selective base herbicide that used to kill certain types of leaves with, without disturbing other plants. Number 5 I will also spend some time talk about pesticide or rajun stranger. And I believe everyone, no matter you are plant for fun or you are a farmer, always encounters such a pest problem. And it happens so frequently just like bacterial attack. Farmers usually encounter white flies, caterpillars or worms attack, spider mites, and also trips. Just like fungicide we discussed earlier, it also had contact based and systemic based pesticides. And every chemical has their very own active ingredient that targeted specific types of pests. So I think it is quite important to cover the topics in future. Because if you use the right chemical, you will save up a lot of your money. And next up, number 6. Last but not least, we are also going to talk about organic product or EM based supplements that helps to improve your plants. I will slightly in touch one of the notable brands such as Chem Microbiotech. Make good EM products that help to improve your plants. We will talk about combo bag series in future. We will discuss further on how to differentiate between combo bag 1, 2 and 3. Not just about that, we have the liquid supplements such as Oligo Sun and the organic pest repellents such as Pest Guard 2, 3 and 4 and Biobotawa they will be widely used in the organic farm. And also there are many cans products out there that need to be discussed but I'll leave it for the another video. And also I also take topics that request by the viewers. Your feedback on certain topics is always important to me so I can make a video out of it. Usually I'll take question about your crops problem and I'll provide solution of it. Or any product that you brought from your nearby agriculture shop and you are not sure about it, I'm more than welcome to give an explanation. Or if you have non-agriculture related question, you're still welcome to ask me. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.